Ariel Helwani in San Antonio following the 2023 Royal Rumble alongside the winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. She went from 1 to 30. She made history tonight. She is the one and only Mommy. <laughs> Rhea Ripley, congratulations. Thank you, I appreciate it. So a lot to talk to you about. Uh, first off, I was just listening to the post presser and you said that you may have injured your knee in the match. What happened? Um, so I I've just have knee problems. I've always had them growing up playing soccer. Um, my kneecap just sometimes slides out of place and it like sort of goes to the side. Sometimes it will go to the very back of my knee and then I just have to straighten it and it goes back. Oh my. Um, it hasn't done it for years, so I don't know what made it do it. I guess I haven't drank enough water today or eaten enough. Um, but yeah, it's, it slid out for a little bit, but I popped it back in straight away. Early on, I mean, you were there for a very long time, so were you worried? Yeah, I mean, it happened maybe halfway through, okay. maybe a little bit earlier. I wasn't too worried because, to be honest, the rest of my body was pretty cramped anyway, so I just sort of ignored it, and my nose was busted too. Oh my. So all I could smell was blood, and it was just everywhere, but I live for this stuff, you know? How would you describe being in there for the entire time? Like going through that gauntlet, going through that marathon, what's it like? Crazy, absolute craziness. I mean, people come out every 90 seconds and you can literally see and hear their music. Like, you know who's coming and you know when it gets to 30 and you're just like, all right, it's, it's at 30 and we still have so much to go and I've been here for so long already. Um, but at the same time, it's sort of like, it gives you a bit of adrenaline rush. And there was a couple of times where like, I looked at the fans and like we made eye contact and it sort of gave me the energy to keep going or I would, me being me, you know, I'm smart. So mm -hmm. I, I roll under the bottom rope and I sit on the ground just laughing at everyone getting eliminated and uh, I was having the time of my life. Like it was, it was a real cool experience and I'm so proud that I could be the one to go from one to winning in the first, first time for women's Royal Rumble match, you know, it's really cool. It's been amazing watching your evolution, your growth over the last few months, uh, your confidence as well. Like I remember when we spoke Survivor Series two years ago, and you know you were kind of newish to the media, maybe yeah. a little nervous. Now, Very nervous. yeah, you, now you're a completely different person. <laughs> what has changed? Um, so I, I've been through a lot uh, the last few years. I've obviously grown up. I, I moved here at 20. I was very, very young, and I was timid, shy, and I just wanted to please everyone you know I wanted to do a good job and then I sort of had to teach myself not to care um, and I think that's that's my biggest confidence boost that I could have given myself it's just to like block out all the hate and all the negativity and just like not really care about people's opinion and do my own thing do what I think is right so it really has opened up a different like route for me in this career and it's, it's helped, I've obviously skyrocketed from it and I, I, my confidence has grown and I've gotten better at everything, but it's just, it's practice and getting out there and being thrown straight in the deep end, which is something that happens to me quite often. So it's, it's sink or swim and I've been swimming. How do you feel about the comparisons to China? People say that you're like the most dominant female on the roster since her, maybe go for an IC title, something like that. Those comparisons are coming up a lot these days. How do you feel about those? Uh, I think it's cool. I, I want people to keep saying that. I know Kofi said um, that he wants to see me go for the IC title. Um, and I, <laughs> I'm so down for it. I love being compared to China. Um, I know that I get a lot of hate at the same time, which is weird, but like, I understand where it's coming from, where people are like, you can't be the next China. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I can't be the next China. She was absolutely amazing and she was herself and she was very unique to her. But I'm the first Rhea Ripley and if I can get somewhat compared to her, like I'm doing chemistry with both of them girls and we've both like I've gone to war with both of them uh, multiple times uh, there's incentives for me to go to Bianca and there's incentives for me to go to Charlotte um, so I'm gonna sit down and, and have a big think about this one last thing uh, felt to me like the women's rumble at least my opinion was more entertaining than the men's <laughs> uh, especially the finish love the finish you and Liv were tremendous uh, yesterday we asked Bailey if there's a bit of a rivalry between the women and the men like this is the one time that you guys can go head to head in terms of our match is better than yours yeah did you watch theirs and do you agree with that statement so I've watched bits and pieces of theirs um, a little bit as well uh, I got speared right. on the concrete thank you Beth 
but you know I got up and I won so it doesn't matter but um yeah I mean there's always competition between us and the men normally the women were always on first so the thing that we say is follow that mm. um but we were on second this time so obviously we've been doing it right the last few years because we've made it down the card and we got to go semi-main and and really put on a show and get the time and just go out there and show everyone what the women can do. Tremendous seeing your growth, like I said, I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you so much, I appreciate it.